If you live in our southern states, the months of January and February are ideal to go out and catch King George Whiting. They're great fish to catch, they fight hard, they're fun, and of course, they're one of the best eating fish you can put on the table. So just how do you catch them? Well, for an outfit, all you simply need is a thread line outfit. In this case, a great little alvey orbiter, um, about a 60 size, you can even use an 80. Then just a simple pattern oster, a nice long drop, 10, eight to 10 pound mono, a long shank bait, uh, bait holder hook, can either be six to eight, maybe a 10 if they're smaller fish, maybe a little bit bigger a uh, size four if they're, if they're larger fish. And just a simple dropper for your sinker. So as the tide varies, you can simply change the weight of your sinker as the tide gets up and drops off. As far as bait goes, again, variety of baits is really, really good. Pippies, fresh pippies are excellent, or frozen pippies. Fresh peeled prawns are perfect. Bigger fish just love fresh peeled prawn. And of course, don't discount mussels. Give you one hint for bait. If you're gonna buy mussels, buy fresh, ready to eat mussels that are for human consumption. That's the best of the lot. And of course, remember to keep your shells, because they're ideal to throw over the side and attract the whiting to the back of your boat where the baits are. In a lot of our bays, some of the best depths to fish are probably in that seven metres through to, or almost down to two metres. And the best places to fish in the bays are the drop-offs. So we're actually right on a drop-off here in six metres of water. But just over there, it's only two, two metres deep. And just over here, it goes to about 10. So the whiting are just gonna just going to probably move onto the flats as the tide drops. They're going to move out into this six metres of water. What I'm going to do here is just simply use a little bit of muscle. And then I'm going to top that with a bit of pippy. A couple of baits. Nice and simple. You've got a nice long drop. Got about a seven foot spin rod. It's just a matter of, just a nice easy cast out. Just monitor your rod back there. Put it in a horizontal rod holder. You don't want your rod sticking up. You don't want them put completely flat. You want them on about a 20 degree angle so you can monitor the bite. And that's simple. Grab another rod and see just having a bite there already. Let's wait and see. And these guys fight really hard, and as I said, one of the best eating fish you can ever put on the table. Whiting bites are really distinctive. Pap, pap, pap. There we go. Feed a little bit of lime. Yes, got him. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, and this is a good fish too. Oh. There we go. And quite often you do need a net, but if you get it right, you can just simply swing them in like that. And that is a lovely King George Whiting. Almost 40 centimetres, I'd say. Absolutely beautiful, fight hard as you'd like, and absolutely excellent on the table. Lovely fish. One of the best southern eating fish you can get.